Hey guys, The Void from Tennis House. If you're struggling to create power on the serve, I will give you three tips, easy tips, to increase your miles per hour on your serve. So stay with me, let's get straight to it, and let's get to tip number one. So tip number one is one of my coaches when I was younger was uh, teaching me that, and it's actually super simple. What is one of the things we do when we try to serve faster? We try to squeeze the grip more and we get more tense when we serve, right? So one of the things that you can do to improve your serve immediately is being looser, right? So on how to do that is at the beginning, one of my old coaches told me always before I start serving to drop my wrist like this. So now when you can look in my wrist position right here, I'm loose. And you need to be loose in order to crank that ball pretty good on that serve, right? So a lot of players, when they serve, they go and they squeeze that racket tight. And there's certain, only a certain amount of power you can create with that. So if you want to be more successful in terms of power and pace on the serve, try this one out. So you start up, make sure this is always a sign here when you drop the racket head that you lose. And then you go, load and hit it all right and another thing to create tip number two to create power on the serve is you need to make sure that you jump inside of the court so a lot of times when you serve the players stand and they hit so you can't create actually really a lot of power so when you look at it to create a lot of power you need to make sure you go load and jump inside of the court so you see where i'm landing right here in front of the court and that's how you can create power so all last but not least tip number three guys it's so important to have a contact in front of you <clears throat> too many players at recreational level when they hit the ball especially when they want to hit it hard they they contact here so that you see like a lot like the bend position of the elbow not an extend position and the contact is right above the head right instead of in front of them so this is one of the things guys if you see yourself doing that or someone is telling you you never extend your arm or you never contact the ball in front of you make sure that when you get out the next time on the court that that's your contact point so instead of doing this make sure that you contact the ball in front of you and that contact in front of you not just going to be beneficial for the power it will save your shoulder as well because all from the ground, the energy that comes from the ground, right, and goes into the racket. If you're here, the kinetic chain is interrupted and you can't tra transfer everything into the shot. So you have to compensate. And the compensation of hitting the ball behind you and having the arm in the wrong position, that's going to mess up your rotator cuff and that's going to be bad for your shoulder on the long run. So if you start playing tennis, if you're a beginner player, if you're an intermediate player, Make sure from the beginning you have those things correct because if you don't have them correct, you will have some issues with the shoulder at some point. So as always, I hope those tips helped you. Let's recap super quick. The first thing is being loose. And then with the tip pointing down before you start and having this little motion, that ensures already that you're on the right pathway to be loose when you surf. And then you can just transfer the power into the serve. The second thing is the jumping in. So if you have a pinpoint or a platform, doesn't matter, the jump forward inside of the court gets the energy forward, gives you power, right? And the last thing was the contact point when you jump to toss it in front of you. The contact point has to be in front of you so you can transfer your power into the shot, into the wrist, into the racket, and you're going to create more uh, miles per hour. So thank you guys for watching this video on the next uh, serving videos coming up in a couple of days. Thank you guys.